So I wanted to do one more example of the combined figure, um, finding a, the area of a combined figure. In the last video that I showed you, I showed you two ways that you could figure out the area. Um, there's actually one more way. And what I'd like you to do is go ahead and draw this figure out with the dimensions given and go ahead and figure out the area using those two methods. And then um, go ahead and start the video and we'll go through those methods as well as I'll show you the third method. And if you've already thought of it, good on you. Okay, like the last video, I went ahead and broke this combined figure into two recognizable rectangles. And so for this first one, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this line all the way across. And so you can see that I have this length and this width here. Okay, And remember, area of a rectangle is length times width. Sometimes you'll see it without the dot. Um, it'll just be LW. When you have two letters together like that, you can assume that the operation is multiplication. So in this first example, this is going to be 9 times 3. So 9 times 3, that's going to give us 27. Now, the unit of measurement we're using here is inches, so that's going to be inches squared. The second rectangle is much bigger. Notice we've got um, a 5 and a 12. Okay, we're not going to use this 8 because that 8 includes some of this rectangle here. Okay, so 5 times 12. 5 times 12 is 60. 60 inches squared. And remember, when we're finding the area of the combined figure, we want to add those totals, those total areas, and we're going to get. 87 inches squared. Now the other way that you might have done it is by ignoring this method here, okay, and then we're just gonna break it, bring it down like here. So we've got this rectangle, okay, this red rectangle, and then this larger, I'll go ahead and make the diagonals this way, okay. So in this smaller one, we've got a 3 and a 5. So 3 times 5 is 15 inches squared. And then the much larger rectangle, we have a 9 and an 8. So 9 times 8, and that will give you 72 inches squared. Again, we're going to add those up. We get 787 inches squared. So this, these two problems are very similar to the previous video that I showed you. In this case, however, I'm using inches and maybe some different numbers. But let me show you one other way that you could solve for the area of this combined figure. We're going to look back at the picture. And color. Uh, let's use orange. Uh, here we go. Orange. What would happen if we were to extend this line up? So we're just going to extend it up and then we're going to extend it over. Okay. Now we could think of this area as the one big rectangle. Okay, we could basically say what is the area of this whole rectangle? Okay, if we want to do that, we can say notice that 3 plus 9 is 12, which is what we have here, and 3 plus 5 is 8, which is what we have here. So our total area. So our total area 
is going to be 12 times 8. So 12 times 8. Well, 12 times 8 is going to give you 96 inches squared. Okay, now we don't really want to know though the total of just this giant rectangle because really this rectangle here, or actually this square here, is not included in the figure. So knowing that this part is not really a part of the figure that we're trying to find the area, let's go ahead and subtract this area from the total. And the dimensions of this outside area is 3 and 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. Now instead of adding these two, we're going to take away that 9. And again, we get 87 inches squared. So all three answers give you the same answer. And that's kind of reassuring. So you do have some options. And the main thing, uh, so in addition to showing you that third option, I wanted to also kind of focus on the unit of measurement. Notice in these problems we were using inches, so the answer the unit of measure is always squared for area problems. So in this case, our answer will always be inches squared.